So still a hey guys, we're back. Oh, I didn't get to pick the. To hey guys, we're back. We're I didn't get to pick the onside. We may lose away. this. We this still got, got it somehow. That that's GG's guys. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he's going to get this inside. That's the first down. I think it's game and over. Second time out called for. Yeah, it's game the over. Defense. If it wasn't already. With an even 20 seconds left to go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And inside yeah, especially the 20 that first it's brought down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It'll go as a gain of 12, and that should just about wrap this one up. And that's it, boys. So behind a solid performance in the first college start for their we senior quarterback, the Texas Longhorns are moving on to play for a national title on Monday, January the 7th. proud of you thank you sir that was a gutsy performance out there tonight you took us to a national championship when nobody and I mean nobody expected you to and for what it's worth I'm really glad you stayed four years ago thanks coach thank you <laughs> Yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Whew. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> Em, looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? Mm. <laughs> okay, hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. Look, Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Hmm. The option to actually do off the board. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I think I'm gonna have to go with purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, look. <laughs> you see, look, you don't you don't pick from the options given. Alright, the game is in the name. Off the board. Yeah, now nah, it's clicking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm-hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, uh, Onyx. <laughs> okay. I told you she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns. Oh, <laughs> is is that okay? Uh, well, 
you know. Four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Great to see you. It's nice to meet you, Emily. You too. All right. We're days away from Guys, we're going to end that there.